Hello everyone, and welcome to today's reading of The Supernatural. Today's chapter, Mind Power. Some of the commonest supernatural abilities seem to be concerned with the human mind. They are known to researchers as extrasensory perception and telekinesis. ESP is the ability to be aware of something without using the normal senses of sight, hearing, taste, smell, or touch. TK involves the ability to move an object simply by thinking and without touching it. Many instances of ESP have been recorded. Some, such as the vision of Pius V, concern great events and have become famous. Others are equally exciting but concern less important happenings. In 1827, for example, a British woman, Maria Martin, eloped from her Suffolk home with a man named William Corder. Some time later, Maria's mother dreamt that her daughter was dead and buried in a red barn. After much searching, the woman found the barn seen in her dream and ordered the floor to be dug up. The body of Maria Martin was found in the corner. William Corder was arrested and confessed to her murder. In most cases of ESP, the person who receives a message suddenly sees a scene which is happening far away. The person has no control over the event and cannot explain it. It simply happens. A few people, however, seem to have control over their ESP. They are known as clairvoyants or psychics. Sometimes the powers of clairvoyants can be very helpful. In 1978, a Los Angeles schoolboy vanished. A local psychic promptly drew a picture of a man she felt had murdered him. The picture was shown to the boy's family, who recognized it as that of a neighbor. The man was arrested and confessed to the murder. Unfortunately, the statements of clairvoyance are either wrong or vague far more often than they are correct. For instance, during a police hunt for a murderer in Britain, one clairvoyant accurately described the man, but dozens of others produced descriptions which were totally wrong. Researchers investigating ESP cannot simply wait for a vision to come and then investigate it. Instead, they invent tests which, they hope, will reveal ESP powers. Perhaps the most common of these is for one person to draw a picture. The clairvoyant is then asked to reproduce the picture without having seen it. One of the earliest investigators to use this technique was Upton Sinclair. He sketched pictures which his wife, a psychic, then attempted to reproduce. On a staggering 76 out of every 100 occasions, Mrs. Sinclair produced a similar picture to that drawn by her husband. Even more dramatic, than ESP is telekinesis. This word means distant movement and involves the ability to move objects without touching them. Such brain power is extremely rare. In 1912, a Polish woman, Stanislawa Tomczyk, found she could make objects fly through the air by concentrating her powers of thought onto them. However, she had no control over the movements some 50 years later, a Russian woman, Nina Kulangina, claimed to be able to move things without touching them. She was able to move pens, stop pendulums, and even move three objects at once. Despite strict tests, no sign of trickery was ever discovered. The best known person to claim TK powers is an Israeli named Uri Geller. Geller shot to fame in June 1972 when a German reporter 
suggested that he do something spectacular to prove his powers. He asked Geller to stop a cable car in mid-journey. Geller and a group of reporters drove to a cable car station. Geller began to concentrate, and minutes later, the cable car halted. Over the following years, Geller appeared on stages and on television in many countries. On every occasion, he managed to produce some amazing TK effect. Perhaps the most common was his famous spoon bending. Taking a metal spoon in his left hand, Geller would gently stroke it until it bent. No evidence of trickery could be found by researchers. Several magicians said they could repeat Geller's activities, but they failed to do so when they were put to the test. The astounding powers of Geller have never been disproved or explained. They're very fascinating, but what do you think? I'm not entirely sure, but there can be such things. No, I not entirely convinced on the whole psychic thing. Anyway, that's all for today. See you next time. See ya!